Hi, this is Kathleen from Sunny Magic Patterns. Here's my elastic threading hack for waistbands and legs. You can of course do this for any elastic that you need with um, self-binding. Okay, so we're gonna um, make the waistband. It's a self waistband. It's an inch with a half inch um, fold over. And then I have this little piece of felt. You can use anything, any ribbon, whatever, to indicate the back. So it's gonna be an inch down. The hand should half inch uh, fold over, so it should come down to here, right? And then just attach this in. Okay. If you're using wider fabric, make this a little bit wider, but be aware it's gonna sit a little lower on the waist. Okay. So we also wanna leave a gap here so that we can string in, string in the elastic when we're done. Okay. So you can go all the way around and just leave a gap from here to here, or you can do my little uh, hack, which is you get a ribbon that's thinner. So this is half an inch wide, or uh, you can get cord. If you have thin elastic, I wouldn't recommend thin elastic for the waistband, but you do you. This is wider than the diameter, I hope. <laughs> and we're gonna wrap it around. So it's gonna actually sit in the case and you're gonna use that to pull it through. It's, I think it's pretty fun. I'm eyeballing it, of course. You can use a ruler, like I have over here. It's just sitting there uselessly. <laughs> That's okay. All right, and then almost done. Okay, we're gonna do the hem. You can, of course, do this after you've done the inseam if you want, if you can have a small arm to fold over. Oh, hello, wrong way. I wanna go on to inside. So I'm planning on actually putting elastic, um, which you can measure to be two inches longer than half of the width. So about two inches longer. If you want it tighter, uh, you can of course make it the same as half width, but uh, I find having an extra two inches makes it much easier. So two-ish inches, by the way. Um, it's two and a half inches, two inches, yeah, close enough. Okay, so something uh, this width, which is a half inch, or I believe this is quarter inch, almost a quarter inch, three-eighths of an inch. I'm really bad at eyeballing sizes. So one centimeter wide uh, works well. This would be work well for younger kids. Uh, this is all the, for older kids because um, this is a little too loose for the older kids. Also, my kid's really rough on pants. So he, he ends up pulling this and ends up ballooning and being like little knee highs instead of uh, actual pants, which this there's also, this is applicable for the shorts version if I haven't already mentioned it. So if you want to do the same um, hack where we put a length of cord down and then flip it over. So here, we don't need to do it an inch. It's only going to be, you can eyeball it, of course, three, eight, three quarters plus a quarter inch fold over. If you, of course, have a shorter legged child, you want to make it a little bit bigger. Um, if you have a longer leg child, you're probably going to have to extend this out or make this a little bit narrower. But you just want to make sure that the uh, elastic will fit. And if you're using a safety pin, the safety pin will fit. Because I have made it where it's too narrow and the safety pin got stuck. Um, so we're actually going to start, if we're doing it on the flat, we're not going to go all the way to the end. We're going to stop two inches before the end. Uh, huh, let me go make sure. Yeah, two and a half inches. Anything less than an inch and a half is going to be pain in the butt to unfold and unwind. Anything more than two and a half, three inches, I mean, why bother? Because basically that's the entire length, almost the entire length of the, of the leg. For folding over, we want to go right along the seam to make sure that we catch the fold. Uh, and this is where if you have a slight discrepancy or difference, just you can easily mask it. 
Um, I'm not the most accurate cutter sometimes. So this is where I make up for the fact that I'm a terrible inaccurate cutter. I fold it up and nobody knows. Ha <laughs> ha. So again, I want to make a line here with a pin or you can mark it, whatever, or you actually promise you'll remember. I always say that and then I don't. So um, we're going to close this and we're going to pull this through. Okay. Okay. So now we can sew up the sides and then um, string through all the elastic. Okay, so we can string through the sides and go through all the elastic. So, I, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> sew the inside and then go through all the elastic. So, remember how I had you not sew all this all the way through? I hope if I had my needles near me. We're going to unroll this. You can unroll all the way or just um, to the original fold right here. And then line this up and put these together and sew it. Uh, again, you can use a serger at this point if you have a serger. If not, go ahead and do a regular stitch. Okay, we got to match this up. I'm putting one, um, this, I, if you haven't searched it, open it up outwards. If you have searched it, put one to one side, one to the other side, so it's not too bulky uh, on one side. Right, all the way down. Oh, this is coming over. So if you don't have a serger, you can do a finishing option, a front seam or a fell seam after you make this. If you do a front seam uh, and you want the not front seam side to be showing out so it looks like it's normal as it were uh, you have to do this the other way so right sides uh, out wrong sides together and then flip it inwards so this is the treatment um, for the bottom so it's here and you open it up like here this way you have a nice smooth uh, cuff when you're done And then put these together. And we're ready to sew the inseam and then we can string through the elastic. Okay, so now we're gonna string everything through. The crotch is inseam, or crotch is done. But I forgot to measure out my elastic. You can use bigger elastic, a wider elastic, it'll fit up to, I think, an inch wide. Three quarters of an inch should be fine. We're gonna go all the way, halfway around. Or I could just be smart about this and do it this way, hello smart same idea two inches longer than halfway around um, unless you have a very tiny wasted child in which case uh, congratulations about two inches there we go and cut okay so what we're gonna do if I could just figure out where my safety pin is I do not know where my safety pin is lovely so you can either tie this on or safety pin it. If I had a safety pin, I would do that. Oh, there it is. If you do not have, are not doing this, you will have to get two safety pins. I need a second safety pin anyway. So I'm gonna safety pin this to this end. I mean, I guess you could go the other way. I just for some reason thought I would do it this way. And I'm actually clipping or safety pinning this end so I can pull it through. All right, so we're gonna start pulling it through. This might be a little hard. Oh, cause this is long. You have to guide it a little bit. Oh, this might not actually be working out the way I think it will. Okay, it did not. All right, I'm gonna have to do the normal way. But I'll show you how it works if it didn't get broken, which this works well for short um, lengths. Little short elastic. You can tie it together or um, pin it. Okay, we're gonna pin together. I, I can't win. And then we are got, so we have to start pulling. Guide that in. Oh, 
I'm gonna tie it together or sew it together. I'm just gonna tie it because this is so stinking thin. You, if it's thicker, you can, of course, sew it together. And this is something you're probably gonna have to adjust based on your, on your child. Um, especially for the shorts, because it's gonna hit on their thighs. Sometimes my baby has super thick thighs. They're very chubby. All right, there you go. Now when we're done, we're gonna sew it by pulling this and then sewing on the top. Okay, so here's some finer points about using my hack method. One, you want to make sure that you secure the back end. Two, you have to look at the way that your seam um, is directed. So if it's folded over this way, I wanna come and pull it this way, or else if I pull it from this side in, there, if I can move it here, it will get stuck on potentially on the seam. Like um, if I could just do this without poking myself. <sighs> when you pull it, it's gonna get pulled this way. So third thing, we probably want it to get pulled this way because this is the smooth part of the uh, safety pin, if I'm using a safety pin. Uh, so that means I want to tie my leader string, where that may be, over here instead of through the back. So when it pulls, it pulls it all the way through. Third, uh, I don't even know what number I'm on, whatever, third, fourth. You wanna make sure that it's the leader string is on sufficiently so that it won't come off. If you tie it too close to the edge, this could start pulling or do a double knot if you want. And then you will lose this and the leader string and then you'll be very mad. So since this is a thicker uh, elastic, I'm going to use a safety pin that fits through it, a sturdy safety pin. So when I pull, it's gonna do this and the smooth edge will go through. If not, I would have just tied these two together um, uh, using not just a right hand knot, have to be a double knot or else it will come out, trust me, while you're stringing it through. Ask me how I know. So we have to guide this in a little bit. This might be pretty tight. If it's too tight, because you've made it too narrow, then you're gonna have to tie it or use a smaller um, safety pin like this one. The problem with these is these are not the sturdiest and they'll come out while you're pulling. Also, ask me how I know that. So here's the other back end of the leader string. We're just gonna pull that and then guide, guide this through. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. I don't know if I made it wide enough. I kind of eyeballed it. You might have to push a little bit. So this would be a lot faster if I just used a knot, uh, but there we go. Much faster than doing it by hand, even with the safety pin getting stuck. So we're gonna pull this through and then um, without releasing it, distribute the elastic. Then carefully, to remember you can, so you can see, remove the back safety pin from just the fabric because <laughs> I have let go of it and it sprung inside and then you gotta do it all over again and you don't have the leader strings, so you have to do it by hand. So we're gonna pin these together and then sew it together before we finish everything. Firm grasp of the elastic so it doesn't spring away. Get a pin. And you can of course make it flat like this if you have enough room and then sew down this way zigzag or um, sew here and together. It's up to you. And since this is thick enough, I'm gonna do sew down the middle or with it together so it lies flat zigzag. Make sure that you've caught both sides. You don't wanna lose this piece. <laughs> 